Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show you my um, the interior of my Miata. I'm really proud of um, how clean I've been able to get this and get some modern amenities in the car. Um, I've got the stock Bose stereo. Some people don't like the sound of it, but I really do. I think it sounds great. Um, maybe I have a tin ear, who knows? So I'll, I'll let you decide that, but I think it sounds good. Um, I like that the color of it matches the interior of the car, and I like that it um, the speed-sensitive volume works just perfectly, works great. Um, you can set it for roof up or roof down, and it works just the same. I've got a GTA car kit mod installed in the back of it. It lets me connect my phone to it over Bluetooth. I actually can connect two phones simultaneously, and it's smart enough to pause the music on one and answer a call on the other. It's fantastic. Um, the microphone is right here. You can see I screwed up the hole that I put. I didn't screw it up. It actually worked just fine. Uh, let me see if it gets down here. That, that hole there, I just didn't like it there because it blocked my odometer and I wanted to be able to see my odometer because I used that as a fuel gauge because the fuel gauge sucks in this car. It's not, it's a liar. Um, so that's the GTA car kit. I've got a Whistler radar up here. And I got the wire going up to the um, the windshield frame, and that works great. Also, I've got two cell phone holders that I kind of had to mod together. I used two different holders. One had a good jaw, and the other had a, a small little base. And um, so I took the base from one and the jaw from the other, and I can mount them on the windows there. And I've got the chargers inside the door of the car. They're down in the void area behind the, the sort of armrest part of the handle there so that the, the doors can open up and the cord isn't pulling across the car and pulling the, the phone off the door. I like, I got these cool braided um, charging cables with the black with the yellow trim kind of matches the car. I think they look good together. So I run my phone over here. I usually run Osmond on the phone. It's a um, navigation application. It's really, really good uses OpenStreetMap so I can edit anything that's wrong on there and uh, it doesn't require a cell network to work it's all the maps are are downloaded locally so I run that over there this one I had to put a slightly log longer cord on because my wife's phone charges up here she's got a, a Sony phone this is just a spare phone that I use when she's not in the car and I'll run Torque Pro on there um, that runs, it, it talks to the OBD2 connector in the car and gets some sensor data out of that. Um, the, uh, the GTA car kit came with an aux cable also that I just kind of leave coiled up in there. I don't use it very often. But if I have a passenger in the car, they can plug into it or I can plug my MP3 player in. And the only wire I have in the car showing really is um, is this one, well, except for, you know, the, the wires stick out the doors and the, you know up in the roof if you look but this is what I use to um, power the GoPro so it just kind of goes up around here and it holds still pretty good there and I just wrap it around the GoPro base and um, and that all works really well uh, I think that's about it I don't think I've really modded anything else in here and by the way I am gonna get a new plate for that Expo Line Auto in Derry, New Hampshire sells everything and I'm sure I can get that for just a couple bucks they have all the Miata parts uh, huh. yeah, I think that's about it. Um, thought you might enjoy looking at my interior mods and, uh, updates. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Later.